Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial of this course which is dates in Tableau and in this topic we will going to look at the rolling dates which is an important features within the dashboard that you may want to use it. So what are rolling dates? Well rolling dates is an important feature of dashboards or the report if you are having just a one single sheet as it helps seeing the information in defined period context. For example you have sales of product in 90 days as the one example that means in the last 90 days how much the product sales has happened and then another example can be which is more of a future looking which is sales pipeline for the next 30 days that means how much sales value you have in the pipeline that you can close or you can work on in the next 30 days so that sort of information the important part is your last 90 days or next 30 days which is sort of a rolling uh, last 30 days or last 90 days information and we will see how we can figure out this information in Tableau with the help of the inbuilt functionality. Alright so let's move on to the Tableau and see it. Alright so here we are and what do we have is the category present over here which is furniture office supplies and technology and you have some of sales for the each individual category value. So example is very simple. What we want to see is last three month sales. All right. So for that, we will going to take the order date as on which date order has been executed. So we will take and put it on the filters. And here we will going to take the relative dates option and we will click on next. And here in the relative dates, we have a couple of sections like the years, quarters, months, weeks and days. So we, what we want to choose is the months and we want to look at whether we want to go previous month and then last three month. So option is either the previous month or the last three months, this month or the next three months and then next month or month to dates. So what we want is basically the last three months information and anchor to relative that means anchor to today. By default that's the option but if you want to choose any specific date of which you want to go back to last three months then you can choose it from here by enabling this and then going back to where you want so this data set is finishing at 31st December 2019 so what I write is 2019 and December and 31st December I will give it as a last date because up until that time the orders are present so from 2019 uh, 31st December we want to go three months back and look at this data so right now it is showing you the entire information but if you just choose this and click OK you will going to see the sales that has happened in the last 90 days or last three months so what as an exercise then you can do is you can basically look at what is the last four weeks sales last four quarter sales or maybe last year sale or last two year sales as the sales for the uh, report of your report and then you can also include this information as part of the sheet into your dashboard as well also if you have a need that you want to show this information to your end user as to enable them to choose the information you can click over here on this triangle and click on show filter once you click on the show filter you will get these options as much nicer looking sort of a form where right now we have the last three months but we can choose like last two months or last four month information and here it will show you the period as well that from 1st of September to 31st of December and when we come out you will see the information updated accordingly and from here you can look at like the same option which we explained earlier along with all the different quarters, year, weeks and days option which is helpful to look at the dates information in the context of the report in which we want to apply. So that's about how you can create the rolling 30 days, 90 days, 60 days information or different frequency like the month, quarter, week sort of information if you're looking for and uh, make it as part of your dashboard for a more uh, functional and more useful for your end user. Now that's about it in this video and uh, in the next topic I will meet you with the 
sets. So how we can use the dates within sets. Again, we were looking at another feature to get the benefits out of the tableau for our reporting and dashboarding.